Have you ever got up at midnight and tried to sneak your way into the kitchen for a late night snack, but by the time you got there, so was the rest of the family? Because of those squeaky floors. As soon as you started walking that way, the squeaks gave you away. Well, there's a lot of different ways to prevent a floor from squeaking, and the best way is to build it right to begin with. So if you're building a new home or remodeling, I can show you some ways to make sure your floor will never squeak. It all starts right below my feet right now with what's called an eye joist. Well, here below the second floor, you can see what's actually known as an eye joist. And the reason they call it an eye joist is because of its shape. It's got a cap on the bottom like an eye, and then our center long part just like the eye in the alphabet, and then a cap on the top. Now, the caps are actually laminated veneer lumber. And if you look real close, you can see the different striations in there. It's a lot of pieces of lumber glued together. That's the top and the bottom. Our center point is called oriented strand board, OSB, just like we wrap the exterior of the house with to add strength. Now the reason you use an eye joist like this is because this engineered wood will not warp back and forth. If we had a 2x12 like homes used to be built with, and some still are, and you had that solid piece of wood here, it's hard to keep the wood straight and it can warp up or warp down a little bit. And then your decking is not going to be flat and level and smooth because the brace is not flat and level. So with the engineered wood that we've got here, we actually have a flat surface. This eye joist is made by Will Land and a lot of different companies build them now. And they're great to have in your house because if you get your decking perfectly flat and attach it right, it's not gonna squeak. Good way to test it if you're having a house built or remodel is try to stick a business card in there. If it's tight, that business card will not go in there. Here you can actually see a little bit of the glue is leaked out. That's a good thing to see. We've got plenty of glue. This is a million dollar house they're building here, so they've got a really nice flooring system and they did a cutaway for us so we could actually see how our floor decking comes together. You see, it's not just plywood nailed on top of our eye joist, it's actually tongue and groove. And you can see the tongue right here, and it slides into the groove of the other piece. I've got a quick sample here. Pulls apart like this, and one four by eight sheet slides right into the other four by eight sheet. So we've got a nice joint there. Now they don't just nail it or screw it in place, they also put glue all the way across the top of the eye joist. We saw some coming out before, and you can see it here on our cutaway where it's coming out. Put the glue all the way across, lay your decking on top of your plywood, slide it together, and then nail it or screw it in place. And remember, you gotta hit the eye joist or it doesn't work. Now this decking's a little thicker than normal. This is actually an inch and an eighth instead of three quarter inch. Makes a little bit of a difference. Let's go downstairs and see why. Well, Georgia Pacific's helping us out with a little demonstration here. We've got concrete blocks at the end of two pieces of plywood, so it's eight feet across. This is three quarter inch decking that I'm on. That's one and an eighth. One and an eighth is what we're using up in the house. When you move up and down on the three-quarter inch, you see quite a bit of flex in it. Now, the floor joists are not eight feet apart. They're about every 12 inches, so you're not going to see that much flex. You can tell it has some motion in it. You get over here to the one and one-eighth inch, you can see it moves a little bit, but quite a bit less with the same amount of weight on it. Now, you put a floor joist every foot, and it's not going to move hardly at all. So we're going to have a flatter, stronger floor, which means that we're going to have less squeaks when we walk around. So if you want a good quality floor that's not gonna squeak, there's just a few things to remember. Take a look at an engineered wood eye joy system to stop those squeaks. Make sure you put on thick decking, maybe even thicker than code requires, that the glue go all the way across the top of the eye joist, not just part of it, and that all nails or screws go through the decking and into the top of the eye joist, not beside it. It doesn't help if they're next to it. You do all that and you might be able to make it to the refrigerator at midnight without the family joining you.